Now for this part of the question, we're given the parametric equation of the curve here as x equals 2 cos 2t, y equals 6 sine t, and t goes between 0 and pi upon 2 inclusive. And what we've got to do is find the gradient then when t equals pi upon 3. So to do this, to find the gradient at any point on this curve, we've got to find out what dy by dx is. And in order to find out what dy by dx is, we've got to use the chain rule. In other words, it's going to be dy by d something multiplied by the same d something by dx. It's as if these d somethings cancel. And for this question, it's going to have to be dt. So we need to, first of all, find out what dy by dt is. And since y equals 6 sine t, therefore we're going to have dy by dt is going to equal 6 times the differential of sine t, which is cosine t, cos t. OK? Now for dt by dx, we differentiate x with respect to t, find dx by dt, and then take the reciprocal. So for dx by dt, it's going to be 2 multiplied by the differential of cos 2t. And to differentiate cos 2t, it's going to be the differential of cos anything, we have to use the chain rule here, differential of cos anything is going to be minus sine of that anything, which is 2t, and then times it by the differential of 2t, which is going to be 2. The chain rule then for differentiating cos 2t. Just tidy this up now, and what we have is minus 4 sine 2t. So when it comes to dt by dx, it's going to be 1 over this value. So we can substitute these two into here and we end up with, we'll put therefore dy by dx equals dy by dt then 6 cos t multiplied by 1 over this value. So that's going to be minus 1 over 4 sine 2t. And we can tidy this up. I can see that you could divide 2 into both 6 and 4, so that goes 3. 2 into 4 goes twice. So we end up with dy by dx equaling minus 3 cos t all over 2 sine 2t. So when it comes to finding out the gradient now, all we need to do is substitute t equals pi upon 3 into here and we should find that gradient. So therefore dy by dx, we better say actually when t equals pi upon 3. When t equals pi upon 3, therefore dy by dx is going to be minus 3 cos of pi upon 3, all divided by 2 multiplied by the sine of 2t, so that's going to be 2 pi upon 3. And if you work that out, you should find you get exactly minus root 3 over 2. OK, so there's your gradient then when t equals pi upon 3. All right.